Not that many missions left. In fact, just this one and one more. I feel like a kid who has been told that I can play for just 10 more minutes before I need to go home. Red Flag is such a wonderful playground and the older kids setting up the games know what they are doing. Hell, just the novelty of actual Russian aircraft and systems to exercise against is cool as hell. And I am somewhat miffed that I so far have not even gotten a firing solution for my sidewinders. Then again, that is not my job. My job is to make stuff on the ground go boom. And in that regard, I had my fair share of targets, and there will be more of them. Intelligence has reported that the Russians are preparing a site for storage of chemical weapons, and we will join forces with 3B1 bombers. The bombers will hit the site itself. We will hit a rail yard where a cargo train is parked on the sidings. Meanwhile, Vipers and Warthogs will keep pounding the Russian armor. Looking at the manifest, we noticed we were expected to carry out the attack with the robot Nolifem, a pilot-guided antique that was retired years ago for the robot Shutifem. Uh, but this was no mistake. Apparently, the robot Nolifem had a larger yield warhead suitable for the task. A reminder that in wartime we may not have the luxury of more modern weapons. Still, I can't help but wonder how we came to even have any left. Let alone why they would be dragged halfway across the world. Engine startup is complete. We are waiting for the central piloto. And of course, the chair must be lowered or I'll hit my head on the say much about the vegan's cockpit, but it's not really a roomy office. Loading the coverage information. Setting the target point and the time on target zero eight two three on five. Countdown has begun and all we have to do now is wait as per usual. Copy that, taxi to runway three, to runway three right past it.
Left one acknowledges uh, climb free CF0 at QFE 27.99. Pushing west. Halt to Adam Fredrik. Schedule, but I do not see that as a problem. Uh, we need to keep our eyes open. So far, it seems like the suppression of air defenses has been successful, but we should be careful with that. Uh, in fact, I'm going to use this ridge line to buy myself a little bit more time and switch manual to B5 and uh, see what we are up against once we peeked over the ridge line. Engaging Sam at balls 1, 3, 7, 4, 7. Call 3, defending Sam. Call 3, SA-19 east of Helen is down. Call 3, Call 1, IP, running it. 1, 1, 2, 4, 5. Dodge 1, fence in. Nose down trim, and let's see if we can go below the clouds. I rather see what's below the clouds rather than what's on top of them, honestly. I can see at least two aircraft up ahead, we should be good. Uh, but we still need to maintain visual scanning and see that the target area is indeed clear. And of course we need to use this relics to actually hit the target as well. That's gonna be the tricky part. We're just 30 seconds behind, so hopefully that will not be a problem, and we are about 30 kilometers away. Uh, 
Alright, we need to keep our eyes open for the target. It is highly likely the target may be obscured by the cloud. Countermeasures, countermeasures, air defense target at very close. Full speed and countermeasures now. We have absolutely no clue what, what's uh, hiding in there. So we need to get the hell out of here right now and countermeasures to boot. Then again, we can't burn too much fuel either, so we need to be... I hope that's one of ours. Looks like we got some A-10s uh, doing a gun run over there. Or what the hell is that? Yeah, that's most likely an F-16. Target should be 10 kilometers this way, I think I see it. Affirm, I see the target. Break in the cloud. Stand by, missile away. Good hit, good hit. We're gonna come around and do another attack, and then we're out of here. We can't stay you. Got a visual on the target. Better angle this time. I'm gonna aim for the front, then we're out of here. Negative impact on second warhead, we're out of here. Seven codes for B2, max flex. Once with B2, we'll make the decision if we can continue to Nellis or if we need to use the Lincoln Air Airport for refueling. Uh, we can also climb because at, at this time the tactical system should be a uh, greater hazard rather than the air threat. At least I have not heard any callouts about air threats so far, so I will just assume that the captain did the job. Dodge one, then that. The veterans keep telling me that it was bound to happen. I shouldn't take it hard. I shouldn't mind it. It's part of the learning experience, but it still feels like other shit. I got shot down. A uh, mobile Sam got me on the way out of the target area, and that makes it feel worse. I mean, if it was on the way in because we were early or we flew where we weren't supposed to, I could have accepted it far more readily, but no. The mission went rather well, I'd say. We went in, we engage the target, one missile out of two hit, which, considering the antique qualities of the missile, has to be considered good. Also, we didn't linger needlessly, rather, we made our pass, and then we went around, and we made another pass, and once that pass was done, we got out. 
you can't really expect us to do more than that. And that's why it's so annoying. Everything worked. Everything. And when you look at the big screen, you see all these nice stretches of empty sky where I could have flown without getting shot down. But no. For some reason, I entered waypoint 2 as my exit vector. And that exit vector took me right into the kill zone. And I think that's why I feel it's so goddamn annoying.